Hello, so I'm going to be reviewing topic two, which is famous figures in psychology as it was developing of a science. So to start off, I'm going to talk about the Greek philosophers Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Um, they were Greek philosophers, which means this is a while back. And they basically came up with two, well, three important ideas. One was dualism, which is that the mind is separate from the body, and all three of them believed in that. Other idea was rationalism, which Socrates and Plato believed in, which basically states that knowledge is innate, or like, we're born with it. Aristotle disagreed with this. He believed in empiricism. Empiricism is just a belief that knowledge is gained over time and aren't just born with it, through our experiences and stuff. So after these three famous figures you need to know is like all the way to the 1600s, some other famous philosophers like René Descartes, he was a dualist and a rationalist. He dissected animals to find out how the mind and body communicate. And he basically came up with the conclusion that animal spirits flow through our nerves and that's how the mind and body communicate. He wasn't really, you know, correct on that point. Um, other than René Descartes, you should know Francis Bacon. He kind of like, he used like experiments a lot and he's considered like one of the founders of modern science in general. So that's another, since psychology is a science, he's considered important as well. John Locke, I'm sure you guys know about. Tabula rasa, blank slate. A person's a blank slate when they're born and they're just like filled up with experiences and their knowledge after that. So, other than that, in around like 1800s, Wilhelm Wundt was the first actual psychologist and he created the first lab in Leipzig, Germany. And the reason he's considered a psychologist, not a philosopher, is because he actually used like evidence and data to back up his claims. He didn't just think about them. Um, he did have a student by the name of Edward Bradford Titchener, and Titchener went on after Wundt to create the school of psychology known as structuralism. Now, structuralism doesn't exist anymore, but basically what it was, it just tried to explore the structural elements of the mind, right? And the way Titchener did it was something called through introspection, where you basically express how you feel or like what comes to your mind when you're like presented something. There were two major problems with introspection though. One, not everybody thought the same thing when presented something, so you can't really like take that data and like apply it to everybody. And two, not everybody could express how they were feeling because you know some people weren't good at the language or just like not good at expressing themselves. So after one, um, another famous psychologist is William James. So in contrast to one, he created functionalism, which as the name implies, explore the functional elements of the mind or how the mind functions. Um, James was also famous for, he became a Harvard professor and he was the first one to ever give a psychology lecture. Well, so yeah, he was the first professor as well for psychology, I believe. And he also taught famous people like Mary and Calkins, who if Harvard, you know, didn't, um, so basically she did everything and she was about to get her PhD in psychology. But Harvard being Harvard at the time, since she was a female, didn't want to give her the PhD. So she didn't get it. And they gave her an option to like go to a sister college, like Harvard's sister college. But she was like, I don't want that. So even though she should have been the first one, the first one was actually Margaret Fly Washburn. And she was the one Harvard actually gave it to, the first female. And she also went on to become a president for the American Psychology Association, or APA, for sure. So, after those psychologists, you should know some specific psychologists from the different thoughts of psychology or schools of psychology that are still relevant. So, for like humanistic, you should know Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers. For psychodynamic, you should know Sigmund Freud, obviously, the daddy. Um, for behaviorism, you should know B.F. Skinner, Ivan Pavlov, John B. Watson. They were all very famous. And for cognitive, like Jean Piaget. Like, so you should know those specific psychologists. So remember the philosophers, the Greek philosophers, John Locke, Francis Bacon, René Descartes. And then the psychologists in the early era, Wundt, James, and Titchener. 
along with the two female psychologists, Wynne Calkins, Mary Wynne Calkins, and Margaret Floyd Washburn. And then after those two, you should know specific psychologists from the schools of psychology that I already listed and I'm not going to list again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.